Benue pitch. And uh, thank God, right from within the room, uh, the, we gained a lot of traction. Uh, we, we, we brought one, two, three things back home. Um, other members of the team uh, would be coming in by tomorrow. If you are a former governor, concentrate on where you are. If you don't have anything positive to contribute to Benue, shut up. I'm not asking. You must give peace a chance. You must allow this administration to fully establish and then to carry out what we promised the people that we were going to carry out. It is very, very imperative to me, if you are in the state, if you are in the state, know exactly what you're saying. If you want it, criticisms are very welcome on me and on my administration, but check your facts. Welcoming back home, back into the state. In the last seven, eight days, I was aware at the international platform have to see how we can sell out the image of Benue State, uh, to clear the name of the state from the disconnect that had existed in the number of years, particularly in the last eight years. Benue State was no longer at the international radar. Benue State wasn't even at the national radar. And under the government of a new sheriff in town, we needed to do that to let the entire world know that Benue State is here, Benue State is open for business, Benue State is the real thing, and Benue State is the home for development of not only for Benue, the way we have charted it now, Benue State is going to be a place where a number of other states would be coming to see what's doing here so that they take it back home to their various states to represent. So under the auspices of the United States government, and the, uh, some establishment of theirs in collaboration uh, with our establishment here in, in Nigeria, my governance, the United States uh, Peace Institute invited the 19 uh, states in the nation, the northern state, for us to come and rob minds to see how we can chart a number of ways forward on the insecurities we in the northern states particularly are wrestling with. Uh, it was very fruitful, quite um, nourishing at the same time uh, to have on the desk a number of members of uh, the Department of Defense of the United States, and then the State, um, uh, State Department. Uh, these are uh, establishments that deal with securities of nations, and they feel quite concerned with what's going on with the number of uh, destabilized uh, states here security-wise. So quite a number of us, uh, up to 10 governors, uh, particularly from the north, where are these uh, consortium. And a uh, number of things were considered which we are going to uh, implement and to see how uh, we quell down the, uh, the disturbances we are experiencing. Uh, of note, it must be very uh, pointedly out there that getting back our displaced persons remains paramount to me and to all of us. And this is where we are headed to. Um, of note, 
is the fact that uh, farmers are getting back to their own farms. Uh, particularly by the axis of uh, Gwe West, Gwe East, uh, Guma, and Makedi. Um, all the other areas are also enjoying some relative peace. And that is the way forward for all of us. While we were out there thinking uh, what best, what mechanisms best to put in place for the system to work and work even more efficiently and effectively. I want those of us at the home front also to do our own bit. And we must do that. Each person is a, sec a security personnel. Each of us is a security personnel, and we must be in the forefront of it. It should even go beyond if you see something, say something. We ought to know those who are around us. Don't let anybody buy you off for anything that you will sell your people. Don't let anybody get you cowed in so that you, you destroy and you destabilize and then you sell your people by giving uh, information to those who should not have that information who get back there and then come in to destabilize us and to drive our farmers from the farmlands. That would be extremely unacceptable if we get to know of such person within any community, the person is going to face the music. Our people cannot settle for less. They knew who they were voting in for power. They knew that I am a man of peace. I not only promise bringing peace back to the states, yes. they fully understand yes. what peace can do for all of us. And this is why I cannot accept anyone whether you are a former governor or whether you are a civil servant serving currently or whether you are doing your business somewhere in Benue or you're trying to engage on your farm somewhere, please let it purely be that. If you are a former governor, concentrate on where you are if you don't have anything positively to contribute to Benue, shut up. Because you did your part, your terms came, you worked through your terms, and it is over, and you must, I'm not asking, you must, give peace a chance, you must allow this administration to fully establish and then to carry out what we promised the people that we were going to carry out. It is very, very imperative to me, if you are in the state, if you are in the state, know exactly what you're saying. If you want it, criticisms are very welcome on me and on my administration. But check your facts. Verify them. Verify your facts. Because you don't just sit out there to speak as if you are sitting in a Yoi Burgutu. <laughs> Again, I must reiterate this. Because words have consequences, ways of consequences. If you serve your term and it's over, 
You cannot sit in some corner to destabilize this administration. It's unacceptable. I want everyone to understand very fully. There's so much we need to do for our people. And this is part of what I went out there to kill and bring back home to the state. We are quite privileged. On the number of counts of achievements, we would be able to point our fingers at, I want more to happen. I want more to happen. I don't just want us to, you know, to count and stop at the fact that we are able to pay salaries up to date, and then we have also uh, started paying uh, arrears, and we're going to keep on the track, and then we're going to keep hiring. We started all these things right on day one, and there's no stopping on them at all. No stopping on that. On youth employment, some part of our establishments have already started employing. Already we have, just from the um, uh, Benoist State uh, Teaching Hospital, have hired up to 400 people, including specialists, different areas. And this is what the, this administration will continue to do, because we intend to let everybody have relevance in this state. And this is why any comment that does not go well with the image of the state and the very un honorable individuals in the state, this administration will take it up to you. When you see young people supporting this administration or working hard for the growth and the development of Benue State, we don't call the youth thugs. We don't. I think some people need to be taught these things again. They just speak at random. Maybe this person that said the youth are thugs, or uh, uh, you know, do not even. Uh, uh, I mean, do, do not even understand what that means. Whoever must have called you people of the youth of Ben with thugs. Uh, first of all, I would like that person or those persons to withdraw that public statement. The youth of the state have suffered in the past so much so that now that you are gaining traction on sanity and development, I wouldn't want anyone to pocket them and have them stigmatized. If you don't understand who a thug is, again, just shut up. It's as simple as that. The youth are thriving. You youth are thriving. You know, we don't have criminality in the state here. If you write at the capital here, we don't. If you read a series of stories of what I read and hear from other places, it is quite disheartening. So the youth here are quite concerned on what happens in the state. And I would like every person at all to honor them and to respect them. O team work I, O team I respect, well respect. So whoever those people are, you know, to discredit the youth in the state, uh, they must find their feet and understand exactly what they are talking about. The youth are doing so much. It is the youth who are primarily the backbone and the support of our APC in the state. Yes. And for the record, APC is come to stay for good. Yes. All the way APC yes. and nothing more and nothing less. So let me quickly thank you for the support you give APC in our state. And I remain very grateful to all of you. Um, by element of ensuring that uh, peace returns to the state, uh, by this invite of the United States uh, Peace Institute and the uh, uh, Defense uh, State Department and the um, 
a department of defense. Uh, we are quite, um, uh, quite grateful to all those who are not only supporting the state, but who are looking out for new things to come. I was privileged to hold a town hall, a Zoom town hall, with all the Benue diasporans uh, worldwide in the United States. So over there, we, we rub minds, we discuss a number of things, uh, we let them understand what we are doing on the ground, and then uh, what the future holds for all of us. Um, we also itemized how they can come in to see how they can play their own quarters in contributions for our own development as well. I was also privileged uh, to invite them to see uh, the bit of um, uh, brain contributions and uh, uh, skills contributions they can also make uh, to this administration. We were also privileged uh, for this outing I did to meet with the Nigerian Professionals Network. This is a very large body that, uh, that helps bring a number of, um, of, uh, of commercial entities and in, uh, investment entities uh, to Nigeria. We are quite privileged to be at, um, at the colloquium uh, as well. Uh, it, it remains our hope that um, we made a lot of pitches. Uh, same thing, we were privileged to be at the United uh, State Chamber of Commerce, the largest uh, body in the world, where everybody, investment, commerce, economics, assemble. Uh, so uh, the US Chamber of Commerce is, is an entity um, that makes some good sales. We were able to make the Benway pitch, and uh, thank God, right from within the room, uh, the, we gained a lot of traction. Uh, we, we, we brought one, two, three things back home. Um, other members of the team uh, would be coming in by tomorrow, by necessity. <laughs> So I wouldn't want to preempt, you know, the uh, the content of the rest of the baggage of, of the luggages, uh, the goodies they are bringing for us. But I was necessitated to be back home ahead of them uh, because we're doing the wake of my little sister today, and then the burial takes place tomorrow. I invite you to why you condole with all of us. Show presence if you can, uh, possibly if you can. Um, it's my maternal a little sister, uh, my cousin precisely, who grew up with me, who, uh, who has been there, a very brainy little girl. Um, um, God knows best, uh, but I uh, pray that her soul finds rest with the Lord and um, the immediate parents as well would take consolation in the fact that uh, she was a very great exemplary life and a uh, very obedient child and quite brainy child. Uh, so God rest her and consoles the immediate parents as well. We were also privileged to uh, not only be celebrated by one of ours when we were out there, um, by the, um, uh, the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, one of our very own, our Queen, Ambassador Amina J. Muhammad, who played host to um, a good number of state governors, um, the Northwest governors, and then from the uh, from the North Central, two of us were also amongst uh, this committee of governors: the governor of Niger State, and then the uh, myself. Uh, we had some good uh, um, interfaces. Uh, again, we spoke about good governance. 
uh, we establish the fact that without good governance, a number of bad things will happen. Just like previously, um, we had horrible governance in a number of places, and horrible things happened, including insecurities and, and all that. Um, we, the crop of governance at this season, are so wound up to ensuring that development comes into our states and we champion peace and just to ensure that everybody gains the benefit of democracy in our own state. And this is where we're headed. Uh, she also pledged her support uh, to Nigeria overall, and then particularly to those of us who sought to see her and uh, seek the United Nations interventions. The deliberations were very peaceful and uh, quite encouraging. With all the pitches we made, commercial pitches, industrialization pitches we made, I'm looking forward at the expansion of our farms and then the modernization of the farms. Um, as people have started going back, the IDPs have started getting back to ancestral homes for farming. Uh, it is uh, my pure hope that we're going to have even some more years. I'm trying to see how the state we migrate from just one um, one time season in the year to at least making it twice in and off season farming, dry and rainy season farming. And we need, truly need to be quite huge on that. Uh, this is why I need all of us to cooperate with our security apparatuses, just to ensure that they have the support they need uh, so that they give us their own very best. Remember that it's new, um, new governance in terms of security in the state as well. And we want you to take advantage of that. The, the uniformed people are here for us. And they are only assisting us to be comfortable in our state. We must cooperate with them. Don't let any person abuse or use you as youth in this state. If someone wants um, cows to be stolen somewhere, let them bring back their children who are in abroad and let them send them to go and steal the cows. If anyone wants to use you for his own mischief, tell him, let him be the lead person on the bad thing he wants conducted on the state and not any youth here. Tell them, our youth, you are so responsible and you cannot settle for any irresponsibility. Make it very clear to them. I know that I had missed Benue just within the last uh, seven, eight, uh, eight days. Uh, the United States is good, but Benue is best. <laughs> so and this is why I'm quite happy and excited to be back home. There are a number of things we need to put in place to make our place very um, hospitable some more, and then even very homey. So I invite everyone to join hands with us to ensure that peace returns back to our shores, and then our IDPs are taken back home. If we hear of anything that looks closer to anything destabilization, let us know. Let us know. We fix it. We will fix it very promptly. Um, in any local government at all, or even here at the headquarters, I don't want to hear anything courtism. Because that is not the prescription of Benue. If courtism is your religion, Practice it very silently and without making any noise. I practice my religion very silently. My religion of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
very silently and privately. So anything you think you are doing that involves a number of people, whether it be the court or something, don't disturb any person on it. But I want it to be very clear. Courtism has no room in this state. <laughs> 419 or Yahoo Yahoo has no room in this state. <laughs> Let it be very clear. I'm going to speak with owners and managers of hotels in the state. Because by the security reports I receive, some hotels hide or shield some unknown miscreants who walk into the state. You don't know what they are here for. But in the night, they are out there doing very ugly, non-acceptable things within here. And then destabilizing people uh, you know, by, by internet. It's very unacceptable. If you know anyone who calls himself a kidnapper, just let the authorities here know. Let our government know. Just let the police know. Even by the ranks of the uniform, if you know that someone is part of any ring that deals with kidnapping, let me know directly. The doors here are very open. See, uh, the Okada guys, uh, the um, tricyclists, uh, and different forms of people who are privileged to, uh, uh, in the businesses of, uh, the business of transportation, you even understand the state better than all of us. You pick people from one corner to the other. If you see anything that is not clear to you, we are going to clear, I mean, we are going to establish a phone center where anything happening from any angle of the state, you call that number and we will be the first respondent to the law. If you drop someone at a hotel, that if you pick people from one point to the other, engage them, interact with them. If they seem stranger than fictions, you would call the center number. And we would do follow up. If we discover any kidnapper in any hotel or in any home, we are going to destroy that house or that company. We will pull it down. We will pull it down. I'm speaking with a new air, not of authority, but the new air of the, the newness of doing business. If you want to stay in Benue and do business, it must be by the code of keeping the law and the rule of the land and doing it decently, transparently, responsibly. So we cannot accommodate anything that looks ugly here. Um, there were lots of queues in Abuja. Um, I don't know whether the, uh, it was a kind of an artificial scarcity that was being created you know, for those who were at the PMS stations, or the fuel stations. Um, but if by chance, um, I, I haven't received any good information on that, but I'm hoping that uh, what I saw in Nabuja, the filling stations, does not extend to Benue. Uh, you sellers, if you have fuels at your stations, please open your stations. Let everybody gain access. Don't create any artificial scarcity. The state is where armed for business, and we wouldn't want any wing at all you know, to hold us back, any wing at all to hold us back. And then this takes my mind again to some comment that I read in the Punch newspaper uh, this afternoon. Uh, when some, uh, some leaders in some establishment are not fully informed, uh, it's not ideal for them just to make any open statement. 
Uh, for you to speak publicly, you have to do investigative, call it journalism, or investigative findings. If you are informed um, by any mischief or by any disinformative personnel or misinformation uh, monger, it's, it's even proper for you to get out there to find out the facts before you say anything on the state particularly on Benue State and this administration. Uh, since 1999, I say it with an air of correctness and authority that this, the civil servants, including teachers, have never experienced the goodies they are experiencing in the la here in the state in the last 11 months. Uh, so if someone makes an ugly statement in acting for the earlier and the administration of Benue State on teachers, I think they owe us a very big apology. Let uh, this kind of a leader get out there, um, uh, first of all, to, to investigate uh, the personality that got him that information and then the misinformation he himself relayed to the public and even to the national newspapers. Let him get back to the national newspapers, having found the reality and the facts of the welfare of teachers in this state. Uh, then let him make that public apology to myself and then to the state, because it's unacceptable just for you uh, just to be flip-flopping on what you say, not having facts you know, at your fingertips or not knowing what you are talking about. Uh, there's more dignity in silence. If you don't know what to speak, just stay quiet, it helps. Uh, overall, gentlemen and ladies, I can't thank you enough for the support you continue to give to all of us. You are great guys. You are truly great guys. I'm happy to be back home. There's so much we can continue to do for, each, um, for the growth of the state. I invite everyone to be a collaborator. Be a collaborator. Let's be partners in this business. And there's so much that can come for you. I'm encouraging young people to get into uh, farm cooperatives. Uh, we are very strongly trying to close uh, arrangements and plans uh, to get in uh, farm products, uh, farm products, uh, also farm inputs, uh, so that the groupings that have the cooperatives, we would incentivize them, uh, would give you the capital you need to go and do that farm. This administration will foot all the bill. So we get you to the farm. If you choose to do, uh, I say sesame or soybeans or yams or rice or sorghum, um, you are very welcome. Any other breed you feel you can do best. And if you wish to do uh, plants, um, palm trees, mango trees, orange trees, uh, cashew trees, and you name them, uh, we are willing to do that. Uh, I'm thinking that I would do some consult. Um, I would want two people again and see those who are intending to take on the, uh, on, the uh, on palm planting farming. Uh, because we got new breed, you know, in large quanta. Um, that can go round, and then we actually want to do some more on that. Uh, so I'm inviting you to form blocks where you can meet us as administration, and we give you your support uh, to go and uh, do the best thing the state is known for. Benue State has no cost whatsoever to talk about food insecurity because we are the food hub of the nation, and we'll continue to do some more. So I invite you to take advantage of this offer. If it means being an off-takers, we we'll give you the money, go to your farm, do the rest of it. We we'll give you farm inputs. 
um, uh, including the fertilizers and everything. And then at the end of the day, uh, we would buy the crops uh, at your own pricing. And that is the new menu I'm looking forward to. I want the farmers to be smiling to the bank. So we will continue to do this once again. I thank you, gentlemen, for trying to find out uh, what took me out of state for seven, eight days. Um, I appreciate uh, the firmness. Uh, from here, I intend to uh, go and pay homage to the uh, APC acting chairman, Benjamin Omakolo, at his own office, just to, say, uh, just to thank him for holding the, for the APC a party fought uh, very comfortably and without troubles. You are welcome to accompany me. Thank you, gentlemen.